Hi, Mark Homer here and welcome to this interest rate update. The Monetary Policy Committee at the Bank of England, who are the committee, the set of people, the members who decide what interest rates need to be at or, or what the Bank of England base rate needs to be at, which is effectively the reference rate, the, the, the rate by which most other lenders set their rates, um, have decided to increase interest rates by a quarter of 1%. So they're taking them from 0.25% up to half a percent. Now, this is quite big news uh, because it's the first rise for 10 years. Um, clearly, we went into recession in 2008. Um, the market went backwards and, and the Bank of England bought interest rates down from around 5% to half a percent. They reduced them further when the Brexit vote happened last year to a quarter of a percent. So they're, they're putting them back to where they were about a year ago. The sort of big news from them, uh, and if you're interested in this at all, like I am, you'll watch the inflation report, which is basically the report that accompanies the interest rate decision. Uh, and it tells you what their thinking is. It tells you what they're thinking behind the scenes how they're predicting the, or how they're expecting the economy to behave over the next year, two years, three years. Uh, and they create a load of um, quite sexy graphs with little fan charts showing what uh, is likely to happen in each scenario and, and what sort of the, the range of expectations are. That's quite important. They are basically accepting and uh, communicating that they don't know exactly what will materialise in the economy in terms of growth and jobs and employment and you know the, the way in which the global economy will react. So they, they sort of create this, this fan effect on these graphs. If you, if you have a look on that uh, inflation report on the, the Bank of England website, you'll be able to see what their sort of expectations are and, and, and the upper and lower level of those expectations. So it's quite interesting. So the global economy, according to Mark Carney, the governor of the Bank of England, is firing on 11 out of 12 cylinders. So, you know, if you had a big 12 cylinder engine, uh, as he puts it, uh, it's almost going at full pelt. So it's doing very, very well, especially the G7. So they're the top seven global economies. And usually the UK is within that sort of top echelon of the G7. It usually does very well within the G7. Uh, it's a little bit different for the UK at the moment. Uh, it's participating a little bit less in that global growth. And the reason for that is because of the uncertainty surrounding Brexit. Um, you know, companies and individuals don't know which way Brexit's going. Uh, clearly, the negotiations with the EU haven't gone on along as quickly or as simply as people have expected. Although, you know, there haven't been uh, changes in reality in the economy or our trading relationship with Europe. It's just the the uncertainty that surrounds that that makes investment decisions more difficult. So people are putting those off and, and businesses are putting those off as, as well. So the Monetary Policy Committee expect that wage growth is going to continue to, to pick up. Um, the amount of slack that is remaining in the economy now has been taken up um, somewhat. So th there's not much slack to go. And and the, the, the critical point, and this is really at the core of why interest rates go up or down, is that inflation is higher than the target. Now, as we know, inflation is the devaluation of money over time. The Monetary Policy Committee have to um, get inflation to a level of 2%. Uh, inflation is running higher than that at the moment. And the important point is that over the next year or two, the MPC believe that inflation will continue to rise unless they take the foot off the accelerator, put the foot on the brake a little bit and increase interest rates. When interest rates go up, the cost of borrowing goes up and therefore people should invest a little bit less. That's the theory and, and, and maybe you know, they're, they're encouraged to save a little bit more. Now, a quarter point isn't that much. Um, you know, what they're saying is they're, 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 they're just increasing interest rates slightly to um, take the foot off the gas a little bit, uh, but it's not going to create any kind of major slowdown. Now, lots of people ask me where I think interest rates are going in the future. And clearly the, the best person who should have an idea of, of, of where they're likely to go is, is Mark Carney. And even more importantly, he relies on the yield curve
which is effectively the market implied expectation of where interest rates are going in the future. Now, the, the yield curve is saying that the market expects interest rates to increase by a quarter point uh, two times over the next three years. So that would take interest rates to 1% over the next three years. So you can see that any future interest rate rises are likely to be at a gradual pace and to a limited extent to use their words. So if you've got mortgages for buy to let properties or you know investment properties, um, if you're on tracker rates, yes, interest rates are likely to go up. They obviously have just gone up. Um, but it's not panic stations, uh, according to Mark Carney. Um, they're going to go up gradually over a period of time. Clearly, you should have enough cash flow to cover these, these periods anyway. And what he's saying is that they expect that most mortgage borrowers and consumers will be able to weather these changes uh, and that they are just responding to the growth and the increased inflation expectation within the UK economy over the next year or two. That's been Mark Homer talking about the interest rate rise of 0.25% by the Bank of England over and out.